Good morning everyone, it is Easter bank holiday which means we get Friday and Monday off kind of. I have like five seconds to vlog because I'm really late. Me and Rich are going to meet my parents for breakfast at a place called Edith's house which is so nice. I'm gonna vlog today, Friday, and then again on Sunday so you guys will see like half of my Easter bank holiday weekend. Let me quickly show you what I'm wearing today. This is my new Bella Freud jumper which I love. This is the first time it's having a little outing. I'm wearing it with my Topshop belt and Gap jeans and Converse shoes with pink socks that I think I need to change. I'm attempting to do it all this weekend. Take photos, vlog and take some Instagram photos as well. Edith's house is such a nice little cafe. I've been before for breakfast with my friend Hannah and we were there for three and a half hours. It's dog friendly which is very cute. Um, hopefully my parents are bringing Juno. I just can't get over the baked beans I had last time. They had this like, little wooden spoon and it. it was so cute. So I'm hungry and I'm looking forward to a breakfast. They have a little bowl and a bottle of water for them. Has it got a label on it? Yeah. Dog water. Oh, do you know that's for you? Juno's got a little head thing on because she's got a sore head. She's got a cut on her head. I want to give you guys a little tour of this restaurant. It's all done up like it's meant to look like an old lady's house. Look, there's an actual pink bathroom here. And then it's all like this at the back. food there is so so delicious we were just saying how you know sometimes you have a cooked breakfast you feel a bit heavy and bloated afterwards but it's just such good food you feel great after it's so yummy we are now i think we're going to head to the conservatory at uh what's it called barbican. the barbican it's like an indoor jungle basically and i always see people there but i've never been and you know i get like massive fomo when things are in london and i haven't been before so we're going to head to Barbican. I think we're going via Highbury Fields because Juno needs a little walk and a wee. It didn't take long to drive actually into town and I think we're by the Barbican now. So it's like an indoor greenhouse. It's only open on Sundays and bank holidays and that's kind of all I know. There's like loads of different plants and stuff in there. Okay, we found the Barbican. Now we just need to find... Oh, looks like that's the greenhouse up there. <laughs> Think. I feel like you're not that into the trees. Oh. I liked the conservatory, but it definitely wasn't as full as I was expecting. There were like some other girls in there trying to get a good Instagram. I think it's become like the Instagram place. Um, definitely looks better on Instagram than it is in real life, but worth going. Me and my dad love trees and plants, so wow, look at this. Look at these amazing fountains. We have been joined by some ducky friends. Hey, how's it going? Hello! Oh my god, if it pops out under my feet, I'm gonna be freaked. There's one. Oh, hello! Aww. It's so nice and quiet in London because I think all the Londoners were, sorry, I think all the Londoners have gone away for the weekend. Um, everyone I know has gone away for Easter back holiday weekend, so it's really nice and quiet. I love it. We're just going to head to a restaurant called The Narrow Boat for lunch. I've never been, but my parents recommend it, and it's just by the canal, so we can have a little walk afterwards. We've had a really nice day actually, and lunch was really nice. And we've just had a little like wander around Camden Passage and stuff. And I think now we're gonna head home because careful stop, I'm gonna come back to you guys. I've got loads of work to do because obviously today is actually a Friday. Um, so I'm gonna head back and do some work. I'm also planning my best friend's hen. So I've gotta get on with that and do some planning. And then I think we're gonna stay in tonight and maybe get a takeaway. We're gonna go up to Kent on Sunday to see my sister. Um, actually no, we've just decided we're going to go up tomorrow night and stay the night because there's a spare room and then spend the Sunday there with all the family. <laughs> That'll be really nice. Rich is going to the gym and I'm going to sit on the sofa and watch some TV for, what's the time? I'm going to give myself half an hour and then I'm going to do some work, but I might do it on the sofa. I've been lying on the sofa reading a book and Rich just came back with a massive cream egg, Easter egg. Mm, I really want some chocolate. I'm going to crack this open. Mmm, my first cream egg of the year. We're gonna break up this baby. Don't do it on the glass! 
You actually, were you actually gonna do it on the glass table? I do it on the marble. I, oh my god, my super strength. Uh, okay, don't do it too much. That's so sweet. So good. Okay, I'm gonna vlog again on Sunday. We'll be in Kent. So I'll see you guys then. Morning. It's Sunday and we're gonna go check if the Easter Bunny's been too early for Sunday. Don't cry if I have more in my basket. We share them out. That's good boy. All of them up at the same time. Oh my god, it's the biggest garden ever. Honey, follow me. Um. <gasps> Let me see. Wow. Oh my god, there's so many by the trees. Oh my god, much needed tea. Rich has already been out for a run because he's crazy. What time did you go? Like seven? Yes, look, look at the weather. It's nice. It's nice. It's meant to rain today. I bought a raincoat. No. Look at these jumbo eggs. You ever seen a jumbo egg? Proper. Okay, can you show me how many eggs you found? We can share yeah, you're going to share them out, yeah? Wow, baby's got loads. You've both got loads. We've got baby has So we have come to Kent. My sister and her family rented a house all weekend, so we thought we'd come up last night, spend the night here, and then have the day, and the rest of my family are coming up for lunch. And then I think my parents are staying here where we stayed tonight. It's so nice having a long weekend, and also it's so good for vlogging because I vlogged on Friday, and then I had a day off, and then I vlogged today, and then I get another day off tomorrow, so it doesn't feel like I've vlogged the whole weekend. Really? Yeah. You've done it wrong again. You did. Um, is it this no, you go and then pull it over, pinch it, put it over and under. Yes. Oh, nearly. Pinch it under, over, keep holding tight. Nearly. Uh, go play with mummy, she knows how to play. I'll be out in a minute. Okay, maybe I'm not going to be able to film my, me doing my makeup because Bailey wants to play Cat's Cradle and Rich is getting dressed in the background. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. I've kind of locked myself in the bathroom so I can do my hair. I think I'm going to straighten my hair and then put in some nice waves because I like how they um, like drop out throughout the day. Annoyingly, I always have to straighten my hair first because I always wake up with slightly curly hair. It was I struggle to do my hair without watching a video. I'm gonna put on Anna's new video. We were dancing on a wire, reckless hipsy. It's done. I've straightened it and I've put some waves in it. And I'm actually now going to show you guys this product because Batiste are sponsoring this video very kindly of them. And they have this cool new product that they sent me. I gave it a go and I really like it. It is their two-in-one invisible dry shampoo and conditioner. It says 18 hour conditioning and this is the cocoa and cashmere scent. So you've probably heard of their dry shampoo. I think Batiste are pretty much known for their dry shampoo, but this is a bit different. It's not a product that you kind of spray in the roots to get rid of grease. It's something you spray in like the mid to end length of your hair, and it's a dry conditioner. I've used a dry conditioner before, and I really like them because I can't use like a wet conditioning spray on my hair once it's done, because once my hair gets wet, it won't be straight anymore, it will go curly. So I love dry conditioners. And I've got quite like thick, textured, coarse hair. So this really softens the hair, which I love. I love having like soft hair. It's something I always wanted when I was younger. So I'm gonna show you how to use this. I like to shake it up. And then from about here, I just spray it all over the hair and then kind of brush it through with my hands. I can't like brush my hair with a brush once it's like this because it just goes really frizzy. So I kind of brush it through with my hands. It smells really nice. Last night we sat by the fire and so my freshly washed hair now kind of smells like fire. So the smell of this, the cocoa and cashmere. 
it's really nice it makes my hair feel so soft and like in such good condition i'm a big fan of this apparently they have a mini size as well but i haven't managed to find one yet i would probably get the mini and keep it in my handbag and use it as like an on-the-go thing to freshen up my hair throughout the day i'm gonna get rich to come in and take a nice photo of me using this for instagram by the way if you want to use it more as the shampoo again spray it from that far away but then you just like massage it into the roots i like to use it more the mid to end lengths but you can the whole point is that it's a shampoo and conditioner so you can massage it into the roots as well just don't spray it really close up let's get on with the day right that instagram took about 45 minutes maybe i think rich nearly killed me i always feel bad making him help me on a weekend i think the kids are outside playing rugby and jojo's here about to pop can it do that movie thing again excuse me He's at that stage where he has, puts like his elbows through her stomach and it's really freaky. Apparently there's a cute little farm shop around here and it'll probably be closed later so we're gonna head there just before lunch. Slight problem though, my dad is stuck. My parents have an electric car and they, they worked out like the mileage is to get here and it was absolutely fine. There was a petrol station that had like a charger. They just got to the station and um, the charge is not working so they can't charge the car and they've got 10 miles left. So, um, we're, we're not really sure what's gonna happen. Hopefully they're gonna make it. But in the meantime, we're going shopping. Sorry. Mmm, mince pies. You can get a cute little basket of apples. There's a whole freezer full of croissants and pan chocolates that you actually cook in the oven. I'm doing some coloring in. Honey is colouring in, but it was amazing dessert. We'll come back to the house and we're going to play an afternoon game of Scrabble, which I don't think I've ever actually played Scrabble and I think I'm going to be really bad at it, but... like Asa nearly shut his fingers in the door and it was all a bit mental. We're now heading back. I've just been reading some comments from my video that went up today which was like how to incorporate more colour into your wardrobe and a little haul. I will link it up here if you haven't seen it yet. Just wanted to say thanks for all your lovely comments. I've noticed since I got back from South Africa and I did that let's catch up video and then I did my Q&As that loads more people who don't usually comment are commenting and it's so nice. It's such a different like vibe in the comment section. Um, so thank you to those who kind of put the effort into comment, even if you don't usually comment. Really nice of you. And what else was I going to say? Oh, and I think I've decided I'm going to take that blazer back. I haven't done it yet, but it looks good in photos. I just don't think I'd get enough wear out of it. So it's better to take it back and buy something else, maybe, or just keep the money. Um, if I don't think I'm going to wear it that much. But thanks for your comments on the blazer. Rich is going to watch a film while I start editing this vlog. Um, because I'm busy all day tomorrow and then it'll be Tuesday so I need to start this edit maybe get most of it done now and I'll check in with you guys after what film are you watching? I don't know something that I wouldn't normally watch I'm yeah. guessing oh my gosh I nearly forgot to end my vlog I've just been editing and watching Keeping Up With The Kardashians and I'm gonna end this vlog here I'm gonna link my last video here if you wow. haven't yet seen it wow. I'm not talking to you I'm ending my vlog if you haven't seen my last video, I'm going to link it here. Um, and I really hope you guys enjoyed my kind of half weekend vlog. And I hope you all had a really nice Easter long bank holiday weekend as well. I'll hopefully see you on Sunday for my next video. Although I don't know what it's going to be and I haven't filmed it yet. But fingers crossed something is coming. I'll see you guys in my next video.